the price of duty. Damn. Nilly. We did disobe disobey a direct order. But lives were saved. Maybe. I don't know. I'm looking, I'm looking a little toasty. Ooh, cool. You don't look so good. Neither do you. But has nothing to do with the island storm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be more careful. Uh, <laughs> you might want to put some eye drops <laughs> in. I work for free. The repair crew made it inside. EPS flow is back to nominal levels. The SIF is back up. How does this affect mission readiness, Mr. Ermat? Releasing the docking clamps using hull polarity minimize damage to the Resolute. We'll have some last minute uh. repairs to make, but if we reapportion some of the staff, we can make our departure on time. Bitch. Good to hear. Send updates to my ready room. Commander Rydek, with me. Mm-hmm. What, are you gonna chew me out for making a good call? You disobeyed my orders. Sure did. Well? Respectfully, Captain, I made the right choice given the information I had- You disobeyed my orders! Ooh, you're an asshole. Not just in front of the bridge crew, but the Starbase staff as well. So you care about appearances more That's than the right call. Oh. My name's already- Tarnished around the fleet, but what is it going to do to my credibility on this ship? Respectfully, fuck your credibility. From the top to the bottom, bridge to lower decks. Captain, I told you I'd be honest, so here it is. Maybe I shouldn't have disobeyed a direct order, but you were wrong. You weren't on board, and you didn't have all the information. If you're worried about your credibility, put your ego aside and trust your crew. Boom. Trust me. You might have won some fans on the bridge with that stunt. Wow, Not this everyone. dude just cares about optics. Lieutenant Commander Chovak has already bent my ear. I'm sure he doesn't take it personally. He'll get over it in time. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure what I would have done in the moment either. Good. You never really know if you weren't in those shoes. So, let's just boil it down to you did what you had to. That'll have to be good enough for me. Am I dismissed, sir? Dismissed? We have work to do. Despite it all, we got our final Starfleet clearance to depart. Maybe I shouldn't have been so mean at that point. Everything's great! <laughs> One of the core things that comes up all the time in Star Trek is that, especially Starfleet, is that, you know, you yes, obey orders in the, command, the chain of command. Or the command of chip hand, or whatever. <laughs> But Starfleet doesn't want officers that just blindly follow orders regardless of the circumstances and the situation. You gotta think for yourself. Captain on the bridge. Look everybody, it's the captain who made the wrong call. We're embarking on the first mission since our refit. Our first mission is to find Spider-Man! Yeah, it's a Centaur class re retro or refit, rather. Do it. Set a course for the Hotari system. Cool. Prepare to go to warp eight. Hi, Captain. You know what? You take this one. Oh shit! What am I gonna say? Me? Oh fuck! They're gonna give me decisions. Do it. Hell. Do it. I think do it's a good one. What if I went, Helm? Skibbity bop bop boo! <laughs> uh, Commander? Just fucking go! <laughs> sorry, sorry Helm, I was trying something. Just, just fucking go. Easy. Please, just go. Thank you. I'm fine. You don't look so good. Uh-oh. I need the, the, the iridium, I think. I have to get to sickbay. Go. Oh, what the fuck? We regressed that quickly? Commander, help me get her inside! Okay, we're in sickbay, that's good. It's never been a problem before, all of a sudden, now that we're in a video game and some human's controlling me. Ah, oh, fuck my Duridium! Ooh! Unless there's some, some, some sort of other anomalous thing happening. Your Duridium levels got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. This is definitely one of the more memorable first days I can think of. I just do the science and leave the experiments to Solano. The uh, hell does that mean? with his methods? I don't agree with his definition of acceptable risks. 
can agree with you there. When the lives of your crew are at stake, it's overstressed. He's not cut out to serve. Pressure cooker of his own mind, which is never a good headspace. That's it. Let's stage a mutiny. I'm with you. I'm with you, Duval. 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 Concern. Yay. The emissions that gave you that burn are quite unusual. But you've got superpowers now. Let's figure out what they are. Ooh, he's got a cool scar. Of and electrazine to counter the radiation effects. What about a uh, injection of dipazine? Dipazine nuts in your mouth! Woo! Uh, sorry. You should probably take some red, some some eye drops. Clear eyes. Do they have the Starfleet equivalent of uh, clear eyes? Yo. Chance to think about this while I was away, and I thought it was important that I just come out and tell you. It's okay, Miranda. You can tell me anything. What I'm trying to say is, we've been really good friends for a long time. I wanna let you know I found someone. I, I wanna see if there's more between us than just being friends. Yeah, all right, sure. Sorry to interrupt. The patient needs to rest. They're totally gonna like, put again, like a, uh, they're totally gonna, don't touch my hand, I just said we're gonna take it slow. We're not at hand holding yet. All right, I think I might have fucked up. She has some crazy eyes. She got some crazy ass eyes there with that stare. I don't. Oh boy, she might be taking drugs too. I don't know. <laughs> we won't get a transporter lock. It's Let them die. Happen. Power up the tractor beam. We'll pull them directly into the docking bay. Diaz, you good to run the tractor emitter? <clears throat> yes, sir. That is got to Come on, Diaz. I got this. First thing, lock onto the shuttle and stabilize the rotation. Hell yeah! This is kind of cool, I like this. Star Trek works really well too for all these different roles of officers and things that need to happen on missions and stuff for like little games and, and like quick time events. There's a large piece of debris headed for the shuttle. As long as they remain, uh, creative with it. Can our shields take it? I believe so. <sighs> this is some Star Trek-ass shit. Got it. Whoa! Someone's working hard on the bridge. I don't know how realistic that is. I mean, I'm sure they'd be excited, but... Bit unprofessional to be like cheering a whole bunch. I knew it was him. Firma, so to speak. The captain will be right down to meet you, sir. In that case, I will wait for him here. As far as I understand, it's a different. It's actually a voice actor uh, voicing him, and it, obviously, it's not uh, Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, it's a it's a really good impression. Like really fucking good. Well, this storm is one of the strangest phenomena we've ever encountered. It's disrupted other systems. Who knows what it might do to a warp drive? Yes, it would seem further investigation is called for. Is called for. We'll take readings, run some additional diagnostic checks, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Quite logical, Petty Officer. Uh... Carter Diaz, sir. Thank you. We got to talk to Spock. Like if they didn't, if I didn't know that, that Leonard Nimoy had passed, I would be like, "Oh, they got Leonard it's Nimoy. Not every awesome." Day that a captain gets to welcome a Starfleet legend aboard. Hmm. You flatter me, Captain Solano. But legend implies the past tense. That's so good. I didn't mean to suggest the nuances are perfect. Your experience good, but not perfect. That's pretty close to perfect. But our present situation calls for it. True. Look at. I am the first to nitpick a voice, especially an impression. That's as good as you can get. <laughs> like, without having like AI or some other enhancement or whatever, that's that's as good as you can get. I've listened to a lot of Nimoy. I'm stupid picky when it comes to impressions and, and very nitpicky. It don't get much better than that. It's incredibly impressive, so. The Libyans are the more advanced species. They made first contact with the Hotari over a century ago. Okay. The Hotari have suddenly and forcefully seized control of the mining operations and expelled the Illidians from their system. But the details remain scant. Have the Illidians retaliated against the Hotari or taken any action against them? Surprisingly, they have not yet responded in kind. 
It is unlikely the relatively primitive Hotari forces would stand a chance against the Illyrian fleet in open war. Left unchecked, this conflict will result in more... Classic Star Trek, Trek dilemma and problem. And the dilithium trade hangs in the balance. Conventional, but I'm not opposed to it. Fuck, what were they saying? They want me to go. I'd be honored. I'm honored to be included in the negotiation process. You're not just included. You are instrumental. Well, I hope Commander Rydek will have more luck finding out what really happened than we will through official diplomatic channels. This is where the game introduces her as a potential of interest to make us be like... Mr. Diaz, <laughs> I understand you have already discussed the warp drive failure with Ambassador Spock? I have. It is imperative that the Ambassador's shuttle be flight ready. I thought you would have wanted to work on Ambassador Spock's shuttle yourself. I respect the Ambassador and his many accomplishments. The Ambassador asked me to take a look, and I'm ready to crack this thing open. Good. You could learn from Mr. Diaz's focus. You had my respect long before all oh, this. Oh God, they're gonna introduce her as a, as, as a, oh. No. Oh man. Ready to go? I said I'd take things slow with the other one. Oh shit. What am I doing? What did you want me to do? Diagnostic. Begin diagnostic. <laughs> Here comes. I know about your talk with Miranda. Uh-huh. You, you do? She sent me a priority one dispatch right after your conversation. Uh, I'm happy for you. Both of you. But Thanks. I liked you first. But I'm only going to tell you this once. Don't screw this up. Okay. Because I would be very unhappy if you tried this out and then, I don't know, six weeks or six days later, I have to start splitting <coughs> holidays between the two of you. Are you upset? <laughs> Not on your life, Diaz. But you need to be careful. Okay. Okay. I like my friends and I like our group. I don't want to lose that. I'll try to make it work unless she's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Are you okay with us being together? Are you sure you didn't harbor feelings for myself or her as well? Am I getting the full story? <laughs> Change color. Got it. Nice. Good stuff. We got it. Hey. Hi. I'm not here. <laughs> We're escorting the negotiator. Hey, your eyes look a little better. As soon as they're not gonna lie, I'd rather not leave right now. More important things on my mind. I'll give her a kiss. Hey. In front of the ambassador and everything. Okay, this is the most awkward kiss ever. <laughs> what the hell was that? What the hell? It was. Uh, hold it. Don't move your lips. Nope. Don't go forward. Don't go backward. Nothing. Eh, she's growing on me a little bit. We didn't know much about her, and I had to make a decision about whether or not maybe we'll be romantic. But hey, whatever. Romance options are always fun. Error in warp field calculation. Cochrane formula variable. Haha, <laughs> Cochrane. The computer said cock. The same moment when the shuttle failed to warp, so did the ship. Whatever happened to the shuttle just happened to us. The resolute will not sustain war. Oh, no. Oh, shit. If you make more of these, hire me. <laughs> so, deference shows strength. Yeah, deference. Gotta be respectful. Good, I would have killed you if you didn't. <laughs> Let's get on with it, shall we? With we all due respect to the Federation and their ambassador, they have no authority here. Bro, you're talking about Spock. Holy shit. Show some respect. We are not subject to their rule, nor yours. We demand the immediate return of all mining operations to Elidian control, as it has been for centuries and will be for centuries more. That understanding has changed. Then you invite war. And if you cannot remain silent, you will be silenced. Nice. What is the Federation's interest in this matter? Neutral. Perhaps you would have us trade one oppressor for another? The Federation remains neutral. Our only interest is the peaceful resolution of this conflict. 
We are here at your request, your majesty. I thought they wanted us here. She's tough. Was there something you wanted to say, Captain? I was going to say, she's going to oh, hear that. No. My apologies. That's a rookie move, and what Captain. About the Kobliard? Hey, I'm a Kobliard. She's not part She can speak for herself, can't she? Boom! Then let her. Don't you mansplain. I don't, well, I don't know if we needed to step up. Like, uh, that seems a little... Why are we st uh, I feel like she'd be like, that's quite enough. <laughs> I didn't say step up, bitch. <laughs> Just... <laughs> now then, what is your name? Being a Kobiard, you would know better than anyone. Your people suffered brutal treatment at the hands of the Cardassians. Cardassians are dicks. Their injustice towards the Kobiard is as unimaginable as it is unforgivable. Not unlike how we have been treated by the Alidian. And their goddamn reality show sucked! You believe they are the victims here. Remember, oh, sorry. it was the Hotari who attacked us. I get confused. Hundreds of innocent Alidians were slaughtered without mercy in those mines. The blood is on their hands, not ours. Quiet! Hey, come on, hire me. I can do something. The blood is on their hands, not ours. Come on, hire me. Hire me. Even if it's a bit roll, I'll take it. If after all the Kobliard suffered, you finally had the chance to right <clears throat> that wrong, to get out from under their control, would you take it? I can't speculate on something that never happened, Your Majesty. Sadly, that opportunity never came. Remaining neutral for the time being. No, it did not. But we'd be wise to learn from their example before we too find that was a very diplomatic response facing extinction. The Federation is the most powerful, most advanced alliance in the galaxy. It's widely known we have an abundance of dilithium in our minds. True. And it's in your interest to secure a steady supply. Your Majesty, if I may. Ambassador Spock would have us believe you're here as a neutral party in the interest of peace. So why are you really here? It's possible the Federation has an interest in both peace and securing a steady source of dilithium. One does not preclude or prevent the other. That's a good call. But that's just my personal opinion. Given the Federation has done business with the Elidians for decades. That's a good answer. I would they can smell bullshit. It's entirely possible, if not highly likely. The dilithium trade would not and will no longer exist without a Lydian involvement. All of that goes away. The Federation turns a blind eye to Hair is always difficult. Retry. That is enough of your lies. Uh oh, we're breaking down. The Hotaria keep the peace. Keep the peace. Running the mines. Who deserves control of the dilithium trade and the mines on town? Yo. Who should the Federation recognize? Hold on a second. It's not that simple. The Hotari or the Alidians? Oh, damn. What? You're going to give me a, a, a either or? You're giving me an either or? What? I could just say nothing. What happens if I say nothing? It can only be one or the other, not both. If I have to choose only one, then it would have to be the Hotari. Well said. How could the just and wise Federation make any other choice? <gasps> this is an outrage. We will take back our minds by any means necessary. Then you will see more blood spilled. Easy. I am more than willing to address your concerns, Your Majesty. Yours as well, Representative. But I suggest... We could have a more productive conversation with a smaller group. Yeah. Perhaps only the most essential Spock this bitch up. Calm him down. That's your job. You're the ambassador. I'm not the fucking ambassador. I'm just asked my personal opinion. I'm an ambassador. <laughs> of Twitch. Did you know? I hope we meet again, Jara Ryan. They bring me in for these kind of disputes. Or disputes. We're all here for the same thing. We want the right choice and for it to be beneficial to the streamer as well as twitch okay now whether or not said streamer in question was selling feet pictures in their dms on twitch cannot be clear however we do know that the evidence is compelling 
<laughs> Does it break TOS Bob technically? I cover everything on the diplomatic front. You make nice with the locals and see if you can get some answers. We need to find out what are they why whispering? the Otari are so willing to risk war. What happened in those mines? This is really promising, though, so far. Especially if this is their first attempt, you know, at doing a game like this. Holy fuck, I really hope, based on what I've played, if it stays consistent and has, like, a decent, even just a decent ending, I don't even need, like, a, a fantastic one. And again, no spoilers at all. Risk being banned. Um, if they can continue that, it's promising. It's really promising. Oh.